return after these messages. The 4.2 mile stretch of road in Las Vegas, Nevada between Russell Road and Sahara Avenue is famously known as the Las Vegas Strip, a bustling tourist attraction, retail, entertainment, and nightlife district. The busiest areas of the Las Vegas Strip can see in excess of 2,500 pedestrians in a 15 minute period. In 1995, the city installed the first pedestrian bridges connecting the Bellagio Casino and Caesars Palace. After a pedestrian traffic study concluded expanding pedestrian level of service, experience, and safety was closely tied to the economic prosperity of the city. 15 more bridges were built for a total of 16. A study from 2008 to 2011 on the Strip recorded 63 collisions between pedestrians and vehicular traffic. From 2014 to 2018, 23% of collisions took place at marked intersections or sidewalks. 0% occurred with pedestrian crossing bridges, illustrating it is the safest option for vulnerable road users. Tune in tonight for the full special, Engineering and A, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Breaking news, Marietta police are on the lookout for a driver of a Nissan Rogue that was involved in a hit and run early this afternoon. A local Kennesaw State University student is currently in critical condition at Kennesaw Hospital after being hit by a black SUV driving down Cobb Parkway. Unfortunately, this is not the first student to fall victim to vehicles when crossing the street to and from campus. As you can see here at Marietta campus in Cobb Parkway, they lack any sidewalks, crosswalks, or even pedestrian bridges, which causes the increasing population of students here to grow more concerned for their safety. More on the story tonight at 5. This is Hannah coming to you live with a new transportation showdown. Today's ranking vulnerable road users. The Georgia DOT has the valuation of statistical life listed at $11.8 million per person. Let's see how that price stacks up against pedestrian bridges. The Gainesville Pedestrian Bridge over Jesse Jewell Parkway only cost $2.5 million to build in 2017, while a proposed pedestrian bridge between the Cobb Galleria and Truist Park had a slim cost of $8.5 million in 2020. The numbers don't lie, folks. We have a winner. Pedestrian bridges take the cake. Thank you for joining me today on Transportation Showdown. See you next time. Have you ever been a vulnerable road user looking to cross a dangerous road with no crosswalk in sight? Ever been forced to walk on a road with a vehicle as a pedestrian and get hurt as a result? If you answered yes to either of those questions, I've got the perfect solution for you. Pedestrian bridges. These innovative engineering marbles allow pedestrians to safely cross over small, medium, even large sized roads. With a proven design provided by Ashto Guide Specifications for designs of pedestrian bridges and in coordination with GDOT standards, pedestrian bridges are the leading solution for safe road crossings for vulnerable road users such as pedestrians and bicyclists. Go ahead, try it out. Call today to order the LRFD guide specifications for the design of pedestrian bridges second edition from Ashto for the low price of $45 to create your very own pedestrian bridge design. Call before they're sold out.